for the cheapest coins on the internet right now head on over to mutt coin bank guys you can get a million coins for 40 bucks with tax covered instant delivery you will get 24 7 customer support and of course if you guys do use code poodle you'll get 10 percent off and your ea tax covered what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the remaining promos that we still expect to come out of madden hope they come out of madden there's a few we had some leaked ones we have some ones that we get every year there's still quite a bit left and quite honestly guys they've thrown a few curveballs this year with promos we didn't even expect we would never have thought were coming so there is still a chance that we get some surprise promos that aren't even a, like maybe with something new like when we got like that like that we got muddy was late in the year right usually it's part two but that's just like they we expected to fully be gone we got it we got the all rookie the all rookies of all time promo which like we've gotten stuff like that but weren't expecting that as well so we've gotten some pretty cool stuff so i'm hoping we do end up getting that now guys before we get into today's video make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below and let me know what promo you guys are most excited for as well as guys if you need any coins head over to my coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout for an additional discount these days guys and by the way they cover ea tax as well so make sure you're taking advantage you can get a million coins for a super cheap price using my discount code but yeah let's get into it guys so first promo we got the positional heroes promo now at this point guys i'm getting real hopeless on this one now it's still, it could still come and now position heroes is a fun promo like i said it's kind of like the the later version of uh team of the year Pretty much, you're gonna get. It's gonna pretty much do all the modern players. Let's say Saquon Barkley. Uh, Saquon Barkley would be a guy that I don't think you get one here because he didn't do anything this year. But like, let's just say like you know Dalvin Cook got the Team of the Year card, and then Saquon was the running back that didn't. They give it to him, right? But he didn't play, so it'd be the next man up. But then Chubb already got something, so it would keep finding a running back that didn't get a good card in the year, or at least an end game card, right? And then it says some of the stats like uh, Michael Thomas was named first team all pro he led the league in receptions and recorded a career best 1405 yards nick chubb five points yards per carry was 40 short a yard short of reaching a thousand rushing yards for the season after only starting nine games uh, and just so on and so forth it's, it's cool it's kind of like team of the year i really like it and I, will it come i hope so guys and i hope they bring back the weight collection juice to be so in older maddens the way position heroes work you have to get a bunch of players from each position but not like just elites and golds like they had like 64 overall silvers on here so it was always interesting when a 64 overall silver went for like 200k to complete the collection because that was the last piece and it was like super rare because no one could pull it so like it was always fun to go through a binder and find like you had a guy that was worth like 30k 40k so literally 250 400k now that's like the older maddens i mean the market's a bit more controlled now but it would still definitely be an interesting find next guys we move on over we have the rookie premiere promo now of course that's going to come guys now what rookies could they possibly use for next year so typically guys do they always use the first overall pick right so Kyler Murray was the first overall pick. He got a rookie premiere. So I imagine Trevor Lawrence will get one. For sure. Uh Trevor Lawrence. Probably Jalen Waddle. I'd imagine maybe Patrick Sertain. Um, I don't know if they may do two quarterbacks, it's possible. I'm pretty sure they have done two quarterbacks in the past, if I'm trying to look to see an example. But I am pretty sure they've done it. Maybe not this one. So maybe you get Zach Wilson. Trevor Lawrence, Patrick Sertain, Jalen Waddle. Um, maybe maybe they give us a Najee Harris, even though he's late first. Kind of like Clyde Edwards, but he's still a running back. It's a fun position to get. Kyle Pitts, for sure, I think they'll give us. It's going to be a fun rookie premier, uh, rookie premier group because, again, those are going to be some good cards, especially Kyle Pitts. That could be a fun tight end to have, I guess, an extra guy on your team. Same with Najee Harris. But, yeah, that's the rookie premieres, guys. Now, that will probably be coming. That usually comes in late May. Early June. Once we get Rick premieres, guys, just know the game's pretty much going to be dead. That's kind of when they decided, okay, this game is done. So, hopefully it's not early late May. It's hopefully it's early. I think we'll get it around June. Usually the first weeks of June is when we usually at least hear a bit or it's there. Rick premieres is very simple, guys. You put in uh, cards and to you put in tokens uh, from this year, Madden 20. Uh, Madden 21, sorry. That does include, and you get these tokens by trading in players, by playing solos, by opening certain things. You get these tokens, you put them into the player set, you get a 99 overall version of that player, so like a 99 overall Darnell Savage Jr. to play with in Madden 21. And then when Madden 22 kicks off, you will get a low overall Darnell Savage that does upgrade throughout the year based on cards that he does get. So that's definitely very, very cool. Next, guys, we have... So wait, this is Rick Premier, Rick Premier. Okay, so... This is another one, guys, Mutt Loyalty. Now, Mutt Loyalty was a promo that we've gotten in multiple years. I'm, I don't remember if we got it last year. I feel like we didn't. So, Mutt Loyalty, pretty simple, guys. It's a promo that kicks off 
the new ultimate team, right? And what I mean by that, it's kind of like Rick Premier. You have to complete it at the end of an old Madden, like at the end of the last Madden, and then it kicks off into next year. So, for example, um, if you come on down, Mutt Loyalty. So, you see right here, this was like Madden 19. So, in Madden 19, right here, you would get this stuff done, or Madden 20? Madden 19 or Madden 20? Oof. I think it's Madden 20. I don't remember. Point is, the way, oh, it was Madden 20. Uh, I don't remember. Point is, point is. Anyway, so you would complete this at the end of, let's say, Madden 19 or 20. And then when you complete it, you have to fill, like, you know, it'd be like tokens or players, or you get loyalty tokens at the end of the year. You complete it. When you complete it, you get a 9 9 over a version of that player, like Rick Vermeer. But it does give you tokens that transfer to next year. And then next year, when you open up the new Madden, like that first week, you'll have, like, let's say, three loyalty tokens that you built up from the end of the year. You put those tokens in, there'll be, there'll be like a bunch of uh, collections and sets. It'll be like, use one token for a pro pack, two tokens for a Nat Elite or something like that. So it gives you an edge on the on everyone else in the early stages. And it's one of those ways where it's like, okay, you know, I spent all the money this year. I have all these coins. Why let them just die in this account, right? Let me let me use them. And it lets you put it towards next year, which kind of is, uh, you know, always a fun way to like, compete into next year. And then Mutt Loyalty, um, typically... If Mutt Loyalty is going to start, it's going to be, yeah, mid-May. They said May 8th, and this was the last one. If it's going to start, it'll be mid-late mid, mid late May, early June. It'll be close to the premieres in that sense. And next, guys, this is some of the uh, the leaked ones we had early in the year that we're still waiting for. So, first one was the Untitled Space Program. So, the Untitled Space Program is definitely one that we're excited for. I want to see what it is. It just sounds cool. Now, this was the one that says, like, so the one here is spaceships and all that kind of stuff could be associated with things like extraterrestrials. So, kind of like weird attributes, Martians and stuff like that. Maybe the players have really cool stats, certain positions, like we get, um, let's see, also with this problem, we can get some type of special ability or X factor, X factor with it. That would be cool. I don't know what it would be, guys. If you remember this, this was the, uh, the reveal for the, the pack animation. So they definitely created it, like it's there, right? I really hope they do go through and bring this promo out. If they did, again, that'd probably be a May promo. I don't see that being the last promo. So that would probably be one of the uh, next promos we do get. Uh, next over here, we had the off season. We did get that one. Wait. Well, we technically got it, right? So, I wonder now what will happen next. We technically got the offseason, right? Because that was the free agency one. Golden ticket promo. Not, we already got that one. Blockbuster promo. This is a promo I'm super excited for. Another one is going to be the Blockbuster promo, which is the big name promo which players are going to probably get upgraded. Just like the big Blockbuster name, such as Stefan Gilmore in this game. should get a new card in this program. There's honestly a lot of cool options. Essentially, the way this works, kind of like a big card drop. And we could compare this to Mud Heroes. Ton of depth when it comes to solos and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of like Mud Heroes, but it's, it's it's a movie, right? Imagine if Mud Heroes was an action movie, right? Like a like a blockbuster movie, and that's what it is. Like it'll be like it'll be Odell Beckham Jr. He's the uh, the action star, right? And then he gets plus something to this, and then there's like uh, you know Peyton Manning. He's the director, you know, he's the brain behind the whole thing, and then he gets this thing like plus awareness. It's cards like that that are super super cool and fun and unique. So hopefully they do go through and give us the blockbuster promo because it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, Easter promo we did get guys so so far the only two leaked ones left as of now are the blockbuster promo and the untitled space promo and then of course guys you still have so blockbuster untitled space mutt loyalty rookie premiere and position heroes um, a lot of cool stuff that we could potentially see as well as guys don't forget about fan appreciation fan appreciation is going to be like any day now that usually comes within like this month or early next month um, so fan appreciation is pretty much where guys they just give us like some super juice packs for a good price it's just like a way of giving back to the fans. They like give us a free player. Like, I remember there was like a... I don't remember if it was a 99 over like Juju Smith. You just play some solos and you get him. It's a fan appreciation player. It's just like a an easy player to get. As well as, guys, they drop these packs called fan appreciation packs. Where, like, it's a guaranteed 95 pluses. And, like, you can just pull gold and take it out of them. They're not... You probably won't. But, like, just the odds are highest in those packs, right? Definitely a cool pack. Usually a pretty fair price. Like, 50k a pack. Uh, so, they're, they're like... 10 times better than Ultimate Legend packs and like a third of the price, which is always awesome. But guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below, like the video. Thank you so much for watching. For the coins, comment down below. Use code Peter. I'm out. Peace.